Hi, this is going to be another tutorial on um, Phoebe, and this is going to be on how you can produce console programs with Phoebe. So, for what this is for is for creating a program that would run in command prompt, so it would look like this or whatever, um, except it would be made in VB instead of in batch or in C or whatever. Um, and so, right here, um, I have the files that you'll need um, in order to do this. Um, this is the zip file that I'm going to upload and put a link to in the video description. And these two files, or file and folder, um, are going to be what is contained inside of this zip. So, in order to start making console programs with VB, first step is to copy this link exe. Um, but what you have to do is you you navigate to your VB6 installation folder. Mine happens to be E Program Files VB6. Yours would probably be C Program Files Visual Studio um, VB6 or s something like that. Um, and so what you do is you go into that folder and you rename link.exe. It should look like this and you rename link exe to link dot org dot exe so and then after you rename that then you go back and you copy this um, into the uh, vv6 folder so you should have one file called link and the other called link dot org dot exe um, so what that does is it makes it whenever you um, compile a program using VB, it'll ask you whether you want to produce a console program or a Windows program. Now, um, in order to uh, have API for, in order to use the console, um, that's what this is right here. Inside of here, you um, can find a bunch of demos and like, uh, like sort of almost tutorials on how you use console in VB6. Um, but I'll give you a quick demo on how to just like print out some text to the console in VB6 using this package that I have here. So what you need to do is you first need to create a new VB6 project. So you open up VB6 and you choose um, standard exe. Uh, but we don't want a form, obviously, because this is going to be a console thing. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to right-click the form, and we're going to remove form 1. So then our project will be empty. So then we right-click on our project, and we go to Add, and we say Module. And we just click Open. And now we have a new module right here with em emptiness. So now what we need to do is we also need to add another module. We need to add, um, you need to go to existing module right here. And then you need to choose um, a file from the package that I provided, um, which is right here. You have to choose mconsole.bas. It's inside the mega console folder that I provided. So you open that, and then you see a new module called con. Um, so what you do is you just come over here in your other module that you created earlier, and what you do is you write um, option explicit, and then you create a submain. I'll, I have to put down the mic to do that. Okay, so now that you've done that, um, what you need to do is just um, type in con period and then whatever command you want to use. So I'll show you. And then you can just uh, scroll through the list here um, until you find what you need or whatever. And... Um, I'll use that for now. 
Um, and then, so you can pretty much go from there. I mean, it'll tell you all the stuff that you need. Um, so I'll just do that. And then I'll do um, any key, I think was one of them. Or press any key. Okay, so then when I run the project, Hold on. Okay, so I found out that the problem is that you just need to write con initialize before you do anything. Um, so here's a really simple console program in VB just to show you how you use it. So you just, in your submain, you have the con initialize, which sets up the console, then con write line, which just puts out, prints out some text, basically like you would uh, with echo and batch and then you display press any key. So when I run that, you see blah, blah, whatever you're th you type in, and then you press any key. It says execution is complete, return to IDE, and then it goes back. So you can pretty much mess around this with this and like add whatever code you want in there. You can get input and all that kind of stuff. And um, when you compile it, make project DXE, um, press OK here, and uh, it'll ask you console or Windows, press console, and now uh, right here we have it right there, so you can just run it, and there you go, the console program, uh, and it's pretty small, uh, 36K, and you can obviously UPX it if it's a problem, but you don't really need to. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it uh, useful. And um, yep, thanks for watching.